guys so i wanted to finally share with you a tour of my notion i started using notion in november of 2022 and it has like changed the game for me as a small business owner because before i was trying to keep organized with everything on google drive which is great but there were just so many opportunities for organization and client experience as a small business owner that i was really missing out on honestly because i wasn't using like an actual system so i started using notion and i am obsessed with it and the cool thing about notion is that you can organize your personal notion however you want to and there's no right or wrong way to do it it's truly just about what is best for you um so i have kind of gotten the hang of my notion organized it to um i i have it like where i want it to be um so i thought i would take some time today to show you guys how i have organized my notion because I know that that was requested um, like a couple months ago and I unfortunately am just now getting around to doing it, but I think it's in a good spot now that I can share it with you guys. So I'm just giving you a tour of my Notion today and sharing with you how I use it. And I've only paid for one template on Notion. All of the other templates that I've used on here, um, I have downloaded for free through Notion or um, other creators that have uh, made free notion templates, but I've also kind of made my own template or use the template and then kind of tweak it to make it my own. But I think that's one of the really cool things about notion is that you can change it to be how you need it to be, to make the most sense for you and just how you stay organized. And also my dog is currently in here, Dolly. I swear she's in every single YouTube video that I make. So you can't see her, but you'll probably be able to hear her because she's playing in her little cuddle cup and making these like snorting noises. So if you hear that, it's not me, it's my dog. So I want to show you, this is my weekly agenda. And I just have really long to-do lists in here. And yeah, I mean, I this is like how I keep my entire life organized. And it is like something that I use personally and professionally. Um, so my weekly agenda is like the lifeblood of my business. And then I have these little quotes up here. I'm a huge fan of Yellowstone and Beth Dutton said this in a recent episode. She said to her dad, I am a businessman. And that just really resonated with me. And so I, I keep it here um, as well as this little quote recently that I added, which is keep your promises to yourself. So Sometimes I just add random notes in here. I also love that with Notion, you can like change the cover. Um, so I like uploaded my own cover there and you'll find that my Notion probably appears to be very vain because most of the covers are like pictures of me, but I mean, they're just like business stock photos of myself or my work that I have. And so I was just like, I wanna personalize this and make it my own. So this is where I spend most of my time in Notion is my weekly agenda. I also have my timesheet here, and this is what I use to keep track of the time I'm spending on client projects. Um, so I'm like tracking literally everything in here, the task, the client, the time, the date, the month. And that's how I, I may not be doing this in like the most efficient way, but I have like the Jan 2022 here so that if I want to filter it by like a certain month, I can just do that. Or if I want to see like everything, then I can see like December, January, like everything. But most of the time I want to look at like a specific um, time frame, And so it helps me to just filter it that way. And then this stuff here is literally left over from like the original template. I need to just delete it because like who is Ben? Ben is not on my team. <laughs> um, and then I have this CRM dashboard. Um, it just pulls random things up here, but I have, um, I won't scroll down anymore just because there's like certain information on there that I don't want to share. But um, basically this is how I keep track of new leads, new projects, um, new clients, things like that. Um, they all go into like this dashboard and I track like every single interaction with them. 
I'm tracking like when I need to follow up and um, it just kind of helps me to stay organized so that I'm not dropping the ball on any new leads. So if I go to like client funnel, that's where I'll be able to see like all of the clients that are like current or prospective and like where they're at in the process. Prospects will of course show me like who all the new leads are, all the prospects. So um, yeah, I just use that to keep organized. I have like contact information, um, all kinds of stuff. So it's really good to just kind of help me stay organized because once I quit my job to go full-time with my business, I started getting so many new leads that like I just could not keep track of it all in my head or all in like a paper agenda. Like I had to find a way of organizing it digitally. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's what I've done here. And I use that from time to time. It's not like a daily thing that I use, but I do try to keep it updated. Um, and then in addition to like my weekly agenda, I also have this task list that is for other things that may not be like the day to day normal to do list. Like some of this needs to be updated because some of these things I've actually already done, but like I need to revamp the design for my contracts and I just, I haven't done that yet. So like this task list is kind of just more like things that I do want to get to at some point that aren't necessarily on the weekly agenda list yet. I also have my finance tracker and my finance tracker like expenses. I want to combine the two because when I originally made this, I was like not able to figure out how to filter by expenses and income, but now I know how to do it. So I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to edit this and pare them down into just one finance tracker tab. But basically it's where I keep track of my monthly expenses and my monthly income revenue for my business. So I can stay on top of all the numbers um, really easily. And then my client project database is where I keep track of uh, different projects for clients just so that I don't miss anything. Um, it helps me to see like what I have in progress, what's on hold. So I can change like the status of things to whatever I need it to be. And it just kind of helps me to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Not all of my client projects are accounted for in this list right now. Um, but just some things that I'm like, I don't want to forget what this is for. Um, that's helpful for me. So I'll put details about the projects like inside the tasks so that I am not forgetting any information. And basically what I do is like, I'll make a task for it. And like, as soon as I get an email with, not with, um, like information about the, um, project, I go ahead and put it into that task because otherwise like I cannot go back and find information in emails later because it's just so flipping hard to like keep track of things through email. And like, sometimes people will like DM me or like text me about orders if they know me personally or about projects. And I just always try to get everything in email so that I can then easily transfer it into Notion because it's honestly just too much for me to, um, keep track of it any other way. So that is how I stay organized. This roadmap, I have really, this is like from the template. This is like language from the template. Um, like I do not have a product, a product manager named Ivan. <laughs> so I need to delete that, but I do want to start using that, this at some point, basically you have epics, sprints, and then tasks and bugs. And the epics are like, the big goal that you have or like the big project. So let's say you want to launch a new service line. So that would be like the Epic. And then the sprint would be like the little things that, um, need to get done. I guess not little things, but I guess like the phases of the project that need to get done in order to complete like a smaller set of tasks. So I guess you could say that if you're wanting to release like a new product in your shop, maybe that's the Epic, the sprint is like getting your sales page ready. The tasks are, okay, I need to price the work. I need to create the copy. I need to gather the photography. And then bugs are the tiny tasks that like are to fix things. So let's say you have like some website maintenance that you need to do or some things that you need to fix with your website. Those would be like considered the bugs. Um, so I think it's actually a very cool way to keep track of big projects. I just haven't necessarily like dove into that yet because it took me a while to understand what each thing was and how it would apply to my business. Um, but I definitely want to start using that now. And then I also have this YouTube video tracker, which 
it's kind of out of date, to be honest. I just have like a bunch of different ideas, um, things that I've written down that I, you know, videos I wanted to make. Um, so this is just kind of where I can jot down ideas for YouTube. Um, I have meeting notes here. This is really helpful for me. So instead of like having a million Google Docs, I just take notes in here and then I'm able to find them easily. And then this, I really don't use, I might actually just delete it because in terms of like client brand assets, I store that in their client portal, which is up here. Um, and then I have a meal planner for like personal meal planning. I love my, this is like a picture of my meal planner that I offer on my shop. That's like a digital, like you can print it out. Yeah. I, I just really love this, this meal planner. It helps me to stay organized. Um, and then like, once you add in a recipe, like you can come back to it and add it in, you can link to the recipe, like the website that has like all the instructions, like the recipe, all how to do it. You can link that to the meal. Um, so it just is like a really great tool that I use in conjunction with Pinterest to do meal planning every week. Um, because that's like really important to me and I cook all the meals for me and my husband or my husband and I. And so it's just important to me to be able to have this being organized. And then I also have like a little journal section here. That's a mix of like personal things and business things. Just when I need to like jot down ideas, I have a reading list. I literally, this is again, this is part of the template. I haven't added anything to this yet, but I'd like to in the future. Um, and then this is where I feel like this is like the money the money shot. Like this is, this is the part of Notion that I think is the most interesting. I did not create this template. I will link the one, I'll try to find the link for the one that I'm using. And if I can find it, I will put it in the description below. Um, but this is the template that I use for my clients so that they have their own client portal. And the way that I give them access to it is by hitting like share and then you can share it with an email address and then you can give them access to your notion, but only that page. And then that way, like they are able to use like the tasks and questions here. Um, I changed like a lot of these titles to make it fit with like my process. So you can always edit all of these things. Um, but it's just great because you can open up a task and then like have comments back and forth with them. And it just, and it also comes with like a client questionnaire. Um, like a lot of these things are like already ready to go and made for you. So I kept a duplicate of this template in its original form and then just like kept duplicating it and made a bunch of different, uh, client portals and then adjusted it how I needed it to be depending on the client. Um, but like this template is pretty much done for you. Like there's not a ton that you need to adjust, but it has been a game changer in my business because it helps me stay organized, keep things in one place. And it just helps me to be able to keep track of projects and then clients can see in real time, like where exactly I am with certain projects. Um, because the way that I organize the ongoing tasks slash questions section is I have like tasks and then I have doing or like in progress and then client approval needed, approved, completed, on hold, like all things like that. So they can see exactly where different projects are in the pipeline, like in real time. Um, so that doesn't mean that I don't still communicate with clients over email because I definitely do, but I just feel like this has been a game changer for my business. So that is basically my notion in a nutshell. I feel like I zoomed through that. Oh, Two other things, um, my editorial calendar I have here. This is how I plan out content. Um, I don't really have much planned for February yet, so I need to get on that. Um, but this is just, it helps me to keep track of things. Like some of this, it, it is the 25th of January and I'm just now filming this Notion tour. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna move that, cause let's say I will post that maybe next Wednesday on February 1st. It's just like funny saying that because when you're watching this, like who knows what day it will be when you're watching this, but I'm going to move that to February 1st. Um, I posted this reel today, so I'm going to go ahead and hit publish and that went on, that went on TikTok and Instagram. Um, and then 
I don't think I posted, I did post a day in the life TikTok on Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and put published. Like I just have to go back through and update these things. Um, I am filming a day in the life TikTok from today. So I think I'll post that tomorrow. My day in the life videos don't really perform well on Instagram, but they do perform well on TikTok. But I have like a teeny tiny TikTok. Like I just started it this year. Um, so I have like not even a hundred followers on there, but like the, um, one of the recent, uh, day in the life videos that I did on TikTok, it got to, so far it's at over 700 views, which for me on TikTok is not bad. It's just weird because I spent so much time trying to make sure that my Instagram audience was getting built up. So I built it up to like 90,000 plus followers and then realized that like, I need to also be investing in other platforms. So like as I'm filming this, I'm like, I don't even have 200 YouTube subscribers yet. I don't even have 100 followers on TikTok yet. Like, we just are very behind on the times. I will be the first to admit that. Um, I just spent so much time putting my eggs in one basket, which is why I, like, preach to clients all the time. I'm like, please don't do what I did because I spent way too much time investing in Instagram and not enough investing in other platforms along with it. So this is my year, yearly goal tracker. I have everything separated out by quarter in here. So quarter one, Q2, Q3, Q4. And then within these items, I have like different, um, I can put in like monthly goals. So I don't have anything set out for Q4 yet. Um, but basically you can put in your goals by month and then like list out what you accomplished and what you didn't. And then um, do the same thing for November and December. So I have that format for each quarter. And I just think it's a really great way to hold yourself accountable and keep track of all of your goals and whatnot. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I am. I feel like I have a lot of goals that I'm wanting to reach this year. And I feel like this is just a great way to um, keep track of that stuff. So this is my notion. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're looking for any recommendations on things, please let me know. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to share this with you guys. It kind of feels like I'm sharing like my diary because I don't know. I feel like my notion is so personal. I don't know, but it's really fun to share this with you guys. And if you organize your notion differently, or if you have any pro tips with notion that you can share with me, I would love to hear it. Um, so please let me know in the comments of this video, if you have anything to add. And thank you guys so much for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.